When atoms meet, the proton of one will attract the electron of another. Sounds like a plot of a reality TV show. That attraction pulls the atoms together, and they are bonded. If both atoms have adequate electron, they will not let go of their electron. So you have this sort of tug of war between atoms, and so they end up sharing the electron of another. This is called covalent bond. When atoms are covalently bonded, there are two possibilities. One, atoms don't come in the same size, so there are some atoms that tug harder. This uneven sharing is create a polar moment, with the molecules having an overall negative on one end and overall positive on another end. We call this polar covalent bond. But then, when the atoms are same properties, the sharing is even. This is called nonpolar covalent. Nonpolar because it doesn't have a polar moment. This is the strongest bond of all the bonds. Want to guess why it's called polar? Another type of bond comes from one atom giving up its electron, while another accepts the electron. No sharing occur here because the electron is completely transferred. This type of bond is called ionic bond. In ionic bond, when atoms gain or lose an electron, they transform into Super Saiyan. Hey Goku, nice of you to join us. Okay, you're right. They don't transform into Super Saiyan. They turn into ions. The atom can be positively charged because it lost an electron, or it can be negatively charged because it gained an electron. Positively charged ions are called cation, and negatively charged ions are called anion. You will learn more about cations and anions in chemistry. To prepare you for the chemistry, here's an easy method to remember them. Cation is cation are positive. While anion, if you break it apart, you get the acronym of negative ion. Isn't that so ironic? <laughs> Next, atoms that don't have any of those strong bonds have weaker bonds. One is called hydrogen bond, which we will learn later, and the second is called van der Waals. Van der Waals are a bond that occur when atoms that just happen to be nearby, but their properties aren't special in any way to create a strong bond. Because they don't have any chemistry between them, huh? Huh? Atoms don't always have the same number of proton, neutron, and electron. Most of the time they do, but sometimes they don't. When the number of proton differ from the electron, the atoms are called ions. But what happens if the number of neutron differ? In that case, it's called an isotope. Are you a cation? Or are you an anion? <laughs>